Hi everyone, how is everyone doing? Welcome to my channel. My name is Tina. I hope you guys are all doing well. Today I'm going to make three Halloween cards using dice from DIY Art Pen Store on AliExpress. I will link everything I'm going to share with you guys in the description box below. Also, I'm going to go through each card separately so you know what I'm using. So let's get started. For my first card, I'm going to use this Frankenstein mug. And if you haven't seen my unpacking video where I show you the samples, I will link it down below. So my card base is black. This is four and a quarter by five and a half. I cut up this pattern paper, one quarter of an inch smaller than my card base. And I'm gonna make a full shaker card. I'm gonna use this tool from Dollar Tree to make my shaker. And I already did my mix. I have some Halloween mix here and I have the colors that I thought it will go well with. So I just did it in this dish. I also die cut it all my pieces for the Frankenstein mug. So I'm gonna put it together with you. For my sentiment, I have the word spooky. I die cut it with the same cardstock and my shadow is black. And I have my heat to heat gun, so I'm going to start this card. I'm going to play music and put it together.
For my second card, I'm gonna use this hot air balloon that comes with Ghost. It's so cute. And I already die cut all my pieces, so I'm gonna put it together with you. My card base is black, four and a quarter by five and a half. My matting layer is this orange cardstock that's one eighth of an inch smaller than my card base. And then I took a 110 pound white cardstock and I cut it one quarter of an inch smaller than my orange cardstock, but I cut it with my deckled edge trimmer. So I'm gonna be doing some inking on this. I brought my cloud stencil. So I'm gonna do clouds here, but I'm not sticking to traditional colors. I'm going to use Stormy Sky, Spice Marmalade, and Fossilized Amber. Again, I'm gonna play music and I'm gonna put this card together.
And for my last card for today, I'm going to use this ghost. Now, this one comes with a moon, but I'm not going to use the moon. I'll show you what I'm going to use. So my card base is black, four and a quarter by five and a half. I have a piece of white cardstock that's one eighth of an inch smaller than my card base. And I'm going to ink this up. So I'm going to use a moon mask and I'm going to use the middle size here, the medium size. And this is the layering piece for the moon. So I'm going to use that. I'm also going to use this graveyard and I die cut it in gray, but I might go over it with darker gray just to ink it up and I'm going to cut the bottom. For my sentiment, I have happy haunting. I'm not sure yet if I'm using it and I'm going to use hickory smoke, fossilized amber and spiced marmalade. Again, I have all my pieces die cut it and I'm going to play music. I'm going to put this card together.
So here are the finished cards. As you guys know, I love shaker cards. So this turned out so, so cute. And inside I stamped, let's brew up some fun. And I stamped this little witch that's brewing. So cute. And I kind of like the black and white. I might come back and color it, but I don't know. I like the black and white. My second card, and I love the non-traditional colors for the cloud. And I forgot to show you the the sentiment that I was gonna use. So I just die cut it this word boo and I put it here. And inside I stamped happy happy haunting and I stamped this little ghost that's going trick or treating and I stamped two little pumpkins. And the last card, I really like this one too. So here is the sentiment happy haunting. I put a couple of little bats here where the moon is. And inside I stamped too cute to spook and I put two, I stamped two little ghosts. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Until next time, have an awesome day you guys. Bye.